SOMAS, the Surveillance Outbreak Response Management and Analysis System. How to use it as a contact officer. As a contact officer, you are responsible to locate and interview persons who had contact to a case and to follow up their health status on a daily basis. This helps preventing the spread of diseases. With the help of SOMAS, you can save many lives. If a surveillance officer identifies a contact of a patient that needs to be followed up, he creates the contact on his SOMAS tablet. A task will automatically be generated for contact follow-up, which will be assigned to you. Additionally, the supervisor can also assign a new task to you when required. You will always be notified on your tablet. As soon as you get the task, you should visit the contact person. As you meet the contact person, you first verify the demographic information. Verify if the person had indeed contact with the case. If so, change the contact classification to confirmed. Complete all information which may not yet be in the SOMAS system, such as full name, age, address, phone numbers, and so on. SOMAS schedules a follow-up automatically for every day within the follow-up period. The length of this period depends on the disease of the case person. To do so, go to the follow-up visits tab. Click the plus button to add a new visit. Here you should check if the person is available and cooperative. You can also add remarks about your visit. Hit the save button and it automatically takes you to the symptoms tab. Ask the contact person to measure the body temperature and please make sure that you do not have direct contact with the contact person and do not touch the thermometer before it has been disinfected. Then enter the body temperature as displayed. Next, ask the contact person about any relevant symptoms and enter them. If the contact person has none, set clear to no. While talking to the contact persons, or their neighbours, you may become aware of additional contact persons that have not yet been entered in SOMAS. Should this happen, go to the Source Case section. Click Case ID to open the case data. Go to Contacts tab of the case data, press the plus button and follow the menu. Within the menu, enter the date that the contact person last had contact to the case patient. Then, enter the name and choose the type of contact he or she had. Then, select the relationship and maybe add a description for the contact. Press Save to go on. If a contact person shows no symptoms during the follow-up period, your task is completed. If a contact person develops fever or other symptoms, he or she becomes a suspected case. You must then press the button create a case for this contact person and follow the menu. The surveillance officer and surveillance supervisor of your area take over from there. They are informed automatically by SOMAS. Please remember to check for new tasks at least daily. If no push alarm appears, try synchronizing manually by dragging the window down or by pressing the synchronize symbol. If you have any questions, review this tutorial again or read the user instructions. You may also contact your supervisor or the SOMAS support team.